flooding still affecting homes and businesses all around the Knoxville area. In fact, we told you about the flooding on North Cedar Bluff Road at 6 o'clock. Now we have some drone video. This was sent in by Layla Jarahi showing just how far the flooding went in that area, closing not only the road, but also businesses there at North Cedar Bluff Plaza and just a few miles away from there. More closed roads and flooded homes. As a matter of fact, uh, Kristen, I know one of those hard hit spots was just near Gleason Drive. That's right, right near Gleason and Ebenezer Road at that intersection and new here at 11 WATE six on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel visiting that neighborhood where homes are surrounded by floodwaters. It is hard to believe that this is a road here behind me, leaving some of the people that live in this nearby subdivision stuck inside and a few of the homes here are majorly impacted. There's feet of water, so it's it's absolutely destroyed. Jeff Macklin's talking about the basement of his home off Ebenezer now soaking in nearly seven feet of water that came rushing in Saturday. Well, by the time I got home, the water was coming in the basement doors uh, like a waterfall. Water also covering much of his backyard. This is what we saw when we visited Sunday afternoon. A far cry from what it looked like just a few days ago and the roads in front of their home also looking more like a pond. Take a look at where the water hits this mailbox or this speed limit sign. A sight drawing crowds of people in awe. The first thing is just that it's the fact that the whole road just disappears. So you can't even tell that there is a road. You can't tell that it's winding up through there. It looks like you're just at a lake. Some snapping pictures of the aftermath and others making the most of it. Why not just go exploring? You know, this is a once in a lifetime chance. I mean, a flood's a terrible thing, but you know, you can always find something good out of everything. And that's exactly what those impacted are doing. What it are could be do? so much worse. It could be so much worse. I mean, we're all alive and healthy. <laughs> Thankful they weren't hit even harder and just waiting now for the water to recede. Reporting in West Knoxville, Elizabeth Kubel, WATE, six on your side. All right, thank you, Elizabeth. Now, employees with the city of Knoxville and Knox County, along with fire and ambulance crews, will be going around this week documenting uh, some of the flood damage to homes and businesses. Yeah, property owners are encouraged right now to call 311 to report any significant damage. And we do know there's a lot out there. Yeah, there definitely is. Matter of fact, the pavilion at Hunter Valley Farm, well, joins the number of businesses now impacted by the flooding. Uh, the business has hosted weddings, proms, and many other events. Tonight, this 6,000 square foot building is completely flooded. Take a look at some of the scenes here. The owner telling us that they have had about a foot to a foot and a half of water with the main dock collapsing as well, but now everything inside we're told is ruined. Everything in our storeroom, we didn't have a chance to put it up, so everything is floating in the back. All of our speaker systems are floating, uh, our kegerators are down, the refrigerator uh, floated out of its position, so it's just hanging out. Thankfully, there's nothing in it, so that's good. Um, but all of our bottle coolers, every piece of equipment and furniture inside is gone. Yeah, so Barger says that right now they are just waiting for the water to go down so that they can assess the damage. You just hate to see these images out there right yeah, now. You really do. Well, you know